Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. One click protection for all your devices. Visit expressvpn.com slash inside. In our continued effort to highlight interesting up and coming games, today we are taking a look at The Ascent, which is a game that was originally slated to come out around the launch of new consoles last year, but was delayed into this year. With the new launch date officially confirmed and new preview footage of the game surfacing around various sites, we thought it'd be a good time to fill you in. The Ascent is a top-down action RPG set in a dystopian future world called Velas. At a quick glance, the game looks like a cross-up between a twin-stick shooter and a cyberpunk Diablo that you can play solo or co-op with up to four players. You can customize the way your character looks, unlock and upgrade abilities that match your playstyle, and loot a variety of gear and weapons as you progress. Pretty standard fare when it comes to loot-driven games, but what stands out quite a bit here in addition to the arcade action is the incredibly well-realized world with a strong visual style. Even in the short official trailers for The Ascent, you'll find a number of those all-too-familiar cyberpunk hallmarks and then some. Cybernetic augmentations, neon signs, dimly lit slums, and, you know, noodle shops. The whole deal. The game takes place within a corporate-run metropolis called The Ascent Group Arcology, which which is basically just a large vertical city and things have gone very wrong. The Ascent Group is the largest corporation on the planet, but for reasons unknown, has shut down seemingly overnight. Now, all the security systems in the arcology are going haywire, rival corporations are trying to move in, and the local crime syndicates are looking to take advantage of the situation. You play as a worker enslaved by the Ascent Group who is eventually tasked with a special assignment that may grant you your freedom. Obviously, at this point, it's very difficult to say if the game will be good or not, but it seems to be checking a lot of the right boxes, especially at a price point of $30. The Ascent is being developed by a small indie studio called Neon Giant, which is based out of Sweden and made up of about 12 people. A number of the individuals working on the game are industry veterans who broke off from People Can Fly and Epic to start their own team. In addition, the Neon Giant roster includes Tor Frick, who is a renowned 3D artist considered top in class by his peers and has worked on games like Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus, and Fallout 4. The visual fidelity on display in The Ascent is easily a highlight, but there are a few additional touches that give the game further promise. The sound design seems to be on point, and it's pretty surprising to see destructible environments in a top-down game that look this cool. In any case, we're looking forward to seeing more from this game, and now you know about it too. If The Ascent looks like a game you would like to play, you won't have to wait too long because it's coming to Game Pass, all the Xbox consoles, and Steam in just two months on July 29th. Let us know in the comments if you're excited for Neon Giant's debut title, or if you've maybe got a different game on your mind. Like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.